right here is uh, my new Dakota lithium ion battery. You can see how small it is, but it's actually 60 amp hour and it's 1000 cold cranking amps. It's a deep cycle slash starting battery. And I've got the bathroom scale out here, which I never step on for obvious reasons. There's my old battery. It's, uh, I'll look at it and see how old it is. Anyway, I'm taking that out. I'm putting that in, and then I'm going to put in a new uh, battery selector switch, too, which I can turn it completely off. I think there's some sort of little bit of drain on here. But anyway, that's it. I got to mount a switch and and I've got to uh, switch these batteries out. All right. I'll let you know when we get going here. I'm going to show you the difference in the weight. This one is 585 cold cranking amps. That one's a thousand. It's about roughly half the size, and I think it's much less than half the weight. We'll see. It also comes, uh, this battery also comes with a little tube of dielectric uh, jelly or grease, which is, promotes connections. And it's got uh, this type of terminal for, the, for your post type, and then it's got the regular nuts. Everything in here is brass, so there's no regular steel or anything to anything to go bad. Now that, that washer there, these two lock washers may be copper or some sort of alloy, but the nuts and all these posts are brass. So that's a good, you know, it's made good. Let's see how it works out. Okay, I got the old one out. And it is, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if this will zoom. It's just right on, or dead on 50 pounds. Okay, this one weighs, let me get in here, 14 pounds, right at 14 pounds. So we went from 50 pounds on this lead acid battery to 14 pounds on this lithium. And this is a thousand CCA cold cranking amps. And this one is 565 or 85. Five. Get around here where I can read it. Five seventy-five cold cranking amps. A lot of difference. It's a Dakota. This is a Dakota. This thing is expensive. It was um let me zoom back in with a single focus. This thing was expensive. It was uh, five ninety nine, six hundred bucks. But I'll look this up and see what this battery costs at Rule King. So this battery, and this has got uh, these Dakota batteries have an eleven year warranty, which is cool. And it also comes with this uh, battery charger for it. So time you buy one of these for whatever it is and you get maybe a couple years out of it time you add all that up I believe that that lithium ion is going to be a better deal we'll see time will tell all right okay here's the here's the battery I have it's a uh, 27 series deep cycle it's 80 bucks uh, 550 was well, 500. Three months, uh, free replacement, 12 month limited warranty. So I guess it's prorated because it's a, you know, it's a, not an automotive battery. So even if it lasts two years, what is that? 80 bucks. I don't know. That'd be $800 at uh, 10 years. And this has got 11 year warranty. So on paper, it looks good, but like I say, we'll have to, uh, We'll have to see how this baby works out. Okay, I need to uh, run a positive lead 
from the switch to the positive side of the battery over there. So I've got a piece of battery cable, got some nice copper ends. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solder these real quick to tin them. Then I'm going to put these ends on here. And I'm going to crimp them. Then I'm going to come back and solder them. Then when they cool, I'm going to paint them with uh, liquid tape. So they should be good to go from now on out. Alright, I'll let you see it when I Okay, everything's hooked up. Got the cable or the positive cable run. I got the battery cutoff switch installed. Got it on known. Got it on off. And now I'm charging. This is the battery charger that came with it. I do hear a fan running in it, which uh, is okay, but I'm pretty sure it's not waterproof like the uh, the Noco. Uh, charger that I do that I have it does have a lithium setting on it, so I don't know. I'm going to use the one they sent with it And give it the initial charge. All right, there we go